Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we're going to be creating a look for less inspired by a home decor piece that I saw online. Now I'm such a huge fan of ironwork and home decor and I fell in love with this design. Now I knew that it would provide the perfect challenge for me to recreate using items from the Dollar Tree, some low cost items from my local home improvement store, and a few items I had laying around that were absolutely free. Now for your convenience, I provided the list of supplies and tools used to make this project in the description box below. Now I am super excited to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hello and welcome back to my fantastic subscribers and visitors to my channel. Now if you are a new visitor to my channel today and you love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now let's jump right into the project. Now here is my inspiration photo for this piece. Now I love that combination of wood and metal and how they could be easily customized to fit into any home decor by simply changing the color or stain finish. Now for this project, we're gonna need two of the one by two by eight feet long wood pieces from the Home Depot that were $1.18 each. Now here is a cut piece to show you just how it looks and you'll need one for each one of these projects. We'll also need some of these long skewers from the Dollar Tree. And we'll also need some quarter inch irrigation tubing from the Home Depot. Now the first thing we're going to do is cut the wood down to size and we're gonna need four pieces that are 30 inches and we're gonna need eight pieces that are gonna be cut at eight inches but I'm only showing four here. Now if you don't have a means to cut the wood, the Home Depot will do this for you at no charge. So I'm gonna be staining my wood and I will be using my Jacobian stain by Mimwax for this project. So now we're gonna take our wood, determine which side you'd like for your front, and then start to apply one coat of that stain on the front, the sides and ends of that wood piece. Now when applying, you just wanna make sure your coating is nice and even. and then you're gonna stain your other pieces as well. And now that all the pieces are stained, just sit these to the side to dry. Now while those dry, go ahead and grab those long skewers, and I ended up using about eight. Now I'm gonna be painting these with some black acrylic paint. Now all you wanna do with these is to apply a generous amount of that black paint to the skewers, and you just wanna make sure they are completely covered. And then once they're all painted, sit them to the side to completely dry. Now our wood is finally dry and we can start assembling our frame. Now I'm gonna start by laying out my grid mat just to make sure my frame will be assembled nice and even. Now we're gonna be using two of the long pieces and four of the short pieces for each one of the frames. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna space out those short pieces evenly and it ends up being about seven and three quarter inches spacing in between them. Now I typically would use wood glue for this, but I'm gonna be using my Sure Bonder glue gun with these Sure Bonder glue sticks especially formulated for wood. Now I'm gonna start by applying the short pieces in place to one of the sides of the frame with this hot glue. Now you only bit, need a small bit since I will be also adding screws to the frame for better security. And then once applied to one side of the frame, repeat this on the short pieces on the other side, and here is the frame all together. So we're gonna repeat this for the other frame as well. So now I'll be adding screws to the frame and I'll be drilling pilot holes with this 7 64th size drill bit. Now I'm gonna drill a hole every place where the wood intersects. And here are all my pilot holes. Now I'll be using the size eight two inch wood screws for those pilot holes. And here are all of those screws all installed. 
Now to cover the silver of the screws, I'm just gonna touch it up with a little blend of brown and black acrylic paints. And you just wanna dab that color onto each one of the screw heads. And here's what it'll look like when it is all dry. So now we're gonna work on that center opening of the frame. So go ahead and grab those Dollar Tree painted skewers and we will be applying these in a diamond pattern. So we're gonna start with the diagonal center piece and all I'm gonna do is lay it out and cut it to size with some wire clippers. Now we're gonna continue this by adding one piece on each side of that diagonal center piece. And then finally, I'm gonna add two smaller pieces on the ends. Now once everything is evenly placed, I'm gonna mark the ends of each piece on the wood with a marker so we'll know where the placement is when we start gluing them. And now I'm gonna take that wood glue gun and then I'm going to secure them in place. Now all we're gonna do is cut the pieces the same way, but we're gonna be crossing the first piece in an opposite direction. So once these pieces are placed nice and even, we're also going to mark these as well. And then after them being marked, we can glue them into place on top of those other skewers. Now once everything is all glued into place, we just wanna make a quick check on the other side to make sure no adjustments are needed. And here is the finished look of that section. So now we're gonna work on our irrigation tubing. So we're gonna need eight pieces about 22 inches long. So I just measured out one and then I'm gonna cut the remainder out from the roll at 22 inches a piece. Now these pieces will have tiny scrolls on the ends and in order for these to hold the shape, what I'll be doing is taking these wire hangers that were free from dry cleaning. Now what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna cut that hanger portion off, the, the hanger portion off, <laughs> and then I'm gonna use the pliers to straighten that out. Now once you have a straight piece, you're just gonna repeat this for a total of eight hangers. So now you have your straight pieces, you just wanna insert one hanger into each one of the tubes and then just cut off the excess that's hanging out the end. And here are all of the tubes ready to go. So now I'm gonna grab one of the frames and what I'm gonna do is start forming the curved pieces that go inside. So I'm gonna start by taking the pliers and I wanna curl one end of the tubing around the end of that needle nose plier a few times. And then I'm gonna to start to curve that middle piece. And then I wanna see how it fits inside of the frame. And my piece ended up being about an inch too long, so I'm just gonna trim that down. And once that's trimmed down, we're just gonna curl that other end like I did the other side. So once that piece is in the shape that you like, you wanna repeat this for those remaining pieces. So once all those pieces are done, grab two of the pieces and you wanna match them in size as best as possible. And then place them in the frame and once the fit is okay, go ahead and flip the frame over and now we can apply our pieces into place. Now you just wanna add some of that hot glue to the four points that touch the frame. 
and then just press that piece firmly into the glue. And now you can take your second piece and you want to glue it into place as well, overlapping that first piece. Now you want to glue those four points of contact and also add a few dots of glue to the center where they cross as well. And here is everything secured into place and now you can repeat this on the other side and the other frame. And here is the close up of the completed frame. Now to hang this in place, you can add on twine or picture hangers if you like. And here is the set of completed frames, you guys. Oh my goodness, I love how these turned out. Now I think the combination of like the stained wood and the iron looking pieces really turned out great. And I'm so happy with this look. And even these Dollar Tree skewers are looking awesome. You guys let me know in the comments if you think this project is pretty close to my inspiration piece. Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook for the latest new sneak peeks and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.